So you just got your new iOS device and you want to move your data from Android to iOS. Well, you came to the right place because in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to move all these data from Android to iOS. If you didn't set up your iPhone yet, then it's going to be a lot easier for you because when you're setting up your iPhone, you can choose to import data from your Android device. And to do that on your Android, go to your Play Store, search for move to iOS and download this app. As you can see, you can transfer all kind of data, your camera roll, photos, videos, messages, transfer your Google accounts, contacts, and bookmarks for your web browser. If you already set up your iPhone, but you haven't downloaded any apps on it, and you're still wondering how to move your data from Android to iOS, just reset your iPhone and do exactly what I just said. It's gonna be much easier for you to do that than to transfer every single data by itself, which I'm also gonna show you how it's done. To reset your iPhone, just go to your settings, go to general, go down to reset and of course you can erase all content and setting and you can start over with your iPhone. But if you already set up your iPhone and you have a lot of apps on it and you have a lot of data on it and you don't want to reset it, well, I also got you. I have a lot of screen on time. I know. To transfer your contacts from Android to iOS, other than the way that I just showed you, there are actually a couple of ways to do that. The first easy way to move your contacts from Android to iOS is by saving all your contacts on your Google account. By syncing and saving your contacts on your Google account, you can access them on both Android and iOS. So as you can see, I updated the photo on my iPhone, but it also changed on Android. And you can do that when you are saving a contact, for example, you can save it onto your phone or on your Google account. But the thing is that a lot of people have their contacts on their phone, not on their Google account. And it's very easy to move contacts from your phone to your Google account. You can go over here, you can manage contacts. As you can see, you can sync contacts with other accounts or you can move contacts from a place like your phone to your Google account. And when you have your Google account on your iPhone, they're gonna show up there. For example, when you go to your iPhone now and you go to your contacts, you go to groups and you can see here that where to get your contacts from. Okay, this is one of the ways that you can move your contacts. But what about the hard one, which is the one that I did? It's also very easy, not that hard, not that complicated. Just follow with me. Just select one of the contacts, Select them all because you want all your contacts. Hit share. As you can see here, the phone created a file with all your contacts and you can share it to your email, for example, you send it to yourself and then you open the file here and boom, all your contacts are on your iPhone. Next up, we have how to move your photos, your videos, even your files and documents from Android to iOS. If you haven't set up your iPhone yet, then you can do exactly what I told you about in the beginning of this episode. But if you did, there's also a couple of ways that you can do it. The first way is to move all your photos and upload them to your Google Photos or your Google Drive. And this is exactly what I'm doing. I sync all my photos to my Google Photos app. Even on my iPhone, I'm still doing that. So you can just upload them to the Google Photos or the Google Drive and then download them here again. Or even keep them in the cloud and save some space on your phone. But this way is not very ideal if you have a slow internet. But if you want to transfer the files directly from the phone to the other without using the cloud, there are actually actually a couple of ways. You can download this app called Share It and you can actually transfer files and photos and everything you want from any phone to any phone. You can even use that with your PC, your Mac. It's going to transfer everything very fast. But if you don't want to download an app, you can go to your browser, put on snapdrop.net and you can also open that on your iPhone and boom, you can see I can now transfer files or whatever I want from one place to the other. This is a replicate of AirDrop on the Apple products. But with this one, you can transfer anything from any device to any other device. I keep it in my home screen. I use it all the time. It's very, very perfect. Now you want to move your SMS from this phone to this phone. A lot of people don't use SMS anymore and they don't care about their messages, but in some regions they still do. And on iPhone, you have iMessage. The only way that you can transfer the messages from your Android phone to your iPhone is by the app that I told you about in the beginning of this episode. So if you haven't set up your iPhone yet and you want to move your messages, then this good news for you. Next up, we have voice recordings. A lot of people have a lot of voice recordings on their phone that they really want to move. The thing is with this, that you can, for example, record your audio or you have already your audios here and save it. The only way that you can move it is by sharing it. You can use share it if you have share it already or you can just send it by email or 
save it to the drive and then download it back here on the iPhone. Same things with your documents. If you have your documents also in your files app, you can transfer them through share it or the snap drop that I told you about. But the way that I recommend doing the most is by uploading them to the drive and then downloading them back on your iPhone because documents in general, they don't take much space. So it's very easy to upload and then download back on the iPhone. And by the way, you can access Google drive from the files app on your iPhone. While we are in the notes, let's talk about notes. The only way that I got some of my notes from Android to iOS, you just select one of the notes that you wanna move and then share it as PDF or text file or whatever you wanted and then share it via email or whatever and you can paste it on your notes. It's not very ideal, it's not very easy, but you get the most important notes on your iPhone. But if you're not using Samsung notes, which only exists on Samsung and you're using the Google one, you can actually download the Google Notes on your iPhone and get all your notes synced. There are also a lot of other notes apps between both Android and iOS and you can sync between both of them. Now let's move to the calendars and it's, this one is very easy because you already have your events saved up on your Google account or any other account in that matter and they're gonna just show up here if you have your account listed between these. Now let's transfer some music files. If you have your music as files on your Android phone and you can use the same methods that I told you about before which are snap drop and share it. But if you have your music on Spotify, you just open up your Spotify account on your iPhone and boom, everything is there. And last but not least, the one that I get asked the most, which is WhatsApp messages. And by the way, I did not move my WhatsApp messages from my Android to my iOS for the reason that it's gonna take so much effort. You'll need to purchase a third party software on your PC and then plug both phones and let the software get into your accounts, which I really don't recommend. It's very hard to do and it's very risky for the safety of your accounts. So I really don't recommend you doing it. And that's been it for today's episode. I'm gonna be doing a lot more episodes about my journey of moving from Android to iOS. So if you're into that, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and don't forget that life is all about love and dance. See ya.